YouTube Nation, my people from all over, welcome back to the channel. For everybody who's first time tuning in, please like, share, subscribe. What it do, y'all, back at y'all with another story early in the morning. For all y'all that's on y'all way to work this morning, who's on them freeways, be careful because it's raining out here, especially in Southern California. For those that's out here in Southern California, be careful because it is raining in certain parts. But uh, just be careful on that road, man. Been a lot of accidents. A lot of people I know been in accidents lately, man. Thank God they survived, man. It's been tough. A lot of shit been going on in my life, y'all life, man. So let's all relate to each other. And for now, just chill on your way to work while you're driving and just listen to this story. I'm going to share something with y'all that a lot of y'all don't know about. A lot of uh, that's never been a prison. For y'all that's never been a prison, listen up. I'm going to let you know how some of y'all people are right now. Some of y'all brothers, cousins, fathers, uncles, dad, whatever, grandpops, whatever. I'm going to let y'all know how some of these cats is. I don't know their names because it's too many, too many to mention. But I'm going to introduce y'all to a person that we all call the jailhouse liar. Everybody who done been in prison, everybody who did time in the youth authority or wherever, you done met this person because these cats come in all races, sizes, colors it don't even matter you got a jailhouse liars in every race every prison every detention center wherever you got a jailhouse liar so now this story gonna take place with me i'm gonna show you i'm gonna share this one with y'all this one take place back in like 1988 1988 i was on my first term i was in jamestown at this time i was on the seat i mean on the, on the one yard the calaveras yard so jamestown was like one yard is like the Calaveras Yard, and then it had a gym in the middle. And then it's the Mariposa Yard, which would be Calaveras 1, Mariposa would be level 2. And then they had the Tuolumne Yard, which is number 3. So Jamestown only got three facilities at that at that prison, uh, Sierra Conservation Center. So that was my first term I went up there. Now, at this time, I think I was in dorm 36. Me and my homie Blue Capone, rest in peace to the homie Big Bully, Larry James from front of the Compton Crib. The big homie was in the dorm with me. J Dub from Long Beach Twenties was in there with me. Uh, the homie Cliff from Mona Park, old homie Cliff from Mona Park was in there with me. So I was a young cat in the dorm with a you know a whole bunch of OG niggas that was lacing my boots. So like I said, everywhere I went when I was young, I always just stuck around the older cats so I can just get schooled, so I can just pick these cats' brain, just you know study the game at the time. So. I ran across this dude. We used to be out in front of the dorms playing cards and shit, dominoes after we work out and all that. I mean, we was about to playing dominoes. This dude, this cat. It's a trip because this dude, I think the nigga name, I don't know, nigga Kevin or some shit. Something like that. A nigga named Kevin, right? He was from Inglewood, so he connected with me because he's from Inglewood, so like, all right. But he didn't bang. Now, I think he was an undercover blood trying to be low key, saying he don't bang on his yard. Cause this was the time when you had all crip yards. It was just strictly crips on yards. So there's some people that would have been bloods on the yard at the time was just like, wasn't representing, you know what I mean? And that's just what it was. He, Cause you start seeing dudes that was over here at one time. He was like, you didn't bang. And then we see you in another prison down the line, you giving it up. You know what I mean? But not to say that this dude was like that, you know what I mean? I'm not even getting into all the politics and the way things were back in the 80s in these prisons. I'm just talking about this this particular person that a lot of y'all don't know about, but most of us that do know about. Most of us, that, everybody who done been to prison, we know this cat. For y'all that have it, we don't. So I'm introducing y'all to the jailhouse liar. So let's take it back. 1988, Calaveras Shore, Jamestown. We playing dominoes and all this. Me and this cat, we all be out here. Everybody just be hanging around playing dominoes and cars, chopping it up, talking to shit, whatever. Niggas smoking cigarettes, doing all that old shit. At this time, they gave out free tobacco. I think it was Duke Majin or some shit. They used to give out straight free tobacco and rolling paper. So you see niggas just smoking for days, just smoking for free. Now, this dude used to talk, he used to brag about like he had so much money, things he was doing. Now, this is my first time in prison. So this is my my first introduction to the jailhouse liar as well. This cat was talking one day. And he always bragged about how much bread he had, what he was doing out there on the streets. That's the thing about some people, the jailhouse liars. That's why, like, for y'all that never been to prison, y'all talk about the people that's institutionalized. 
That's these people. That's, that's a lot of these people because they can come to prison and be whoever and they ain't got to pay no bills. They just live up in the state, going to pay to take care of them. You get the three hots in the cot. You're going to get a free education in this motherfucker if you want it. You don't get a little pay number. You might get 13, 14 cents an hour. You're going to feel like you're doing the shit. You type of nigga going to be in there running the kitchen. You, 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 you running around with the waves in your head looking like you super spiffy. Right? Y'all all know that's nigga. Super spiffy. <laughs> Mr. Frosty or whatever you want to call this cat. He in the kitchen. He like he run the kitchen. And he running around like he got to crack it. With <laughs> nigga got an old t-shirt. <laughs> They got the old T-shirt he cut from made a wave cap. Wait, he never legit. He didn't have a legit wave cap. He cut a T-shirt and made a wave cap out of T-shirt. And he up in there with his shoes, Sean. He running around like he the man in the kitchen. You got them in every prison. You always got a nigga who run the kitchen be acting like that. Some non-affiliate nigga. A lot of times it be Crips and Bloods doing it too. But sometimes you get that one non-affiliate nigga think he just super playered out like you know nigga. <laughs> y'all all know all the homies has been in prison. Y'all know. Y'all see this dude. Everybody seen this dude. But. The jailhouse liar dude, right? So dudes be out there bragging and shit, talking about the shit he had when he was on the streets, always talking about he had this, he did that, he did this. This dude, like I said, was my first introduction to the jailhouse liar. The first jailhouse liar I, that I recognize. This nigga said some shit one day. He was like, the nigga said he had a phantom. I mean, he had a helicopter with a phantom on it. I kid you not. Nigga said he had a helicopter with a phantom on a helicopter. Now, people that didn't grow up in the 80s don't know what phantoms are. That's the top. You see the tops on a lot of Cadillacs and cutlasses and shit we had back in the day. It was the phantom top. This nigga said he had a helicopter with a phantom on it. Inglewood nigga, right? He's always bagging about what he had. But I'm going to give it to that nigga because he cracked the CO bitch up there at the time, though. He did crack her, and I think he got caught fucking in the little yard office or something, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't, I don't even remember, couldn't even couldn't even tell you. If I saw this dude, I wouldn't remember what this dude exactly looked like. Because this is way back 1988. 1988, I was 18 and I was banged the fuck out. It was everything. It was everything. My whole vision, everything I saw then. Just like, you don't remember a lot of faces. Like, some faces you do, some faces you don't. But he was just a cat I to deal with on the yard, play dominoes and shit like that. Like I said, we connected because it was some Inglewood shit. And he's like, he don't bang. But he from Inglewood, so he started connecting with me. We started chopping it up about certain streets and shit like that, right? But the nigga was the jailhouse liar with the helicopter with the phantom. Now, that just took it that just took it to the furthest extent to me. You lying about a lot of shit you had. But you get these dudes in prison. People be in prison in youth authorities or county jails, detention centers, wherever. These cats be always lying about the shit they had, the lying about the shit they did. People are gonna tell you they all these big old killers on the streets, they these big ass pimps on the streets. They was these rich ass cats on the streets. You nigga, you was broke as fuck. You in here lying. You 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 working too hard. You slaving for these crumbs, and you talking shit when you miss them crumbs. You go to the store, you spending that paycheck alone. You spending like motherfucking. 18 19 dollars a month nigga on your canteen but you was on the streets you was this big old figure how you this big old figure nigga you this nigga big meat you think you think that nigga spending 18 dollars in the canteen nigga that nigga spent <laughs> that's a big old figure this nigga big meat you watch you know what I'm saying come on nigga you what the fuck you know a lot of you niggas is these I don't need jailhouse liars as you Lamar type niggas. <laughs> you old greasy, grimy looking Lamar type niggas. <laughs> Y'all have been watching BML. <laughs> Y'all know who Lamar is, but still, a lot of you niggas is lying, bro. Stop lying, man. These jailhouse liars. A lot of people in your family is jailhouse liars. And it's a shame because people feel the need to lie to be compensated to make them feel complete you gotta lie and tell stories about what you had the type of person you is i was always told that a person that's really that they ain't gotta lie about it ain't gotta brag about it because everybody else gonna do it for you if you really that factor you really had that much bread the world gonna speak for you you ain't gotta say it out your mouth so anytime i hear somebody talking about what they is what they did what they got what they whatever i'm looking at them like he lying if I don't know you, I don't know you got and did all that shit. I'm looking at you lying, nigga. All these bitches you had when you was on the streets, nigga, you lying. Because ain't none one of them coming to see your ass right now in this motherfucker. Ain't none one of them writing your ass right now. They don't want to accept your calls, none of that shit right now, right? 
these jailhouse liars. These niggas is in y'all family. Y'all don't even know that. Y'all don't know. Everybody, you know, you got somebody in done time in prison, and if you know that person be lying a lot, <laughs> if you know he always lying, when, that nigga been lying since he was a little kid, since he was about the third grade, that nigga been lying all his motherfucking life. You, you know, you got that person in your family, and he doing time, you know, he lying. And a lot of times he lying and saying some shit about y'all. And a lot of times if he fuck with dope, he lying to these niggas talking about you going to pay the debt. <laughs> That jailhouse lying ass nigga gonna tell the dope man nigga like my sister gonna send you a, a cash app or PayPal or whatever the fuck they using green dot in there. I don't know what they using today, but whatever. Nigga, my sister, my auntie, my mama gonna, gonna take care of this for me. Let me go in and get a, let me get a little bit of tobacco. Or let me get a little tree. Let me get a little this other shit, whatever you got. Let me, let me get, make, let me get that TV, nigga. I need a TV. You selling the TV for $50. My sister gonna pay for it. You lying. Your sister ain't even got $50, nigga. Knock it off. These jailhouse liars is in all our families. Y'all has never been in prison, never done no time, never been incarcerated nowhere, period. You don't know this. You don't know about the jailhouse liars. But we all that's done time, we like, yep. Everybody, I don't give a fuck what race you is, period. What set you claim, whatever you from, whatever. We all know these jailhouse lying ass niggas. The nigga that was talking about... How he was rapping out there on the streets for niggas that didn't know about rap. This nigga come to get yeah, cause I was out there on the stage with whoopty whoop. I was whoopty 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 whoop. The jailhouse liars. Niggas lie, man. Niggas, niggas life is a lie, man. Niggas, niggas feel the need to lie, man. Why, bro? Why lie? And you always talk about keep it real. Why be a liar, nigga? How is you real and you lie? Anybody that's lying, how you gonna sit up and say, nigga, I'm a real nigga? How's you a real nigga and you lying? Nigga, you a real nigga. You say, nigga, I didn't have shit out there. Nigga, I never had shit out there. And I'm soft khaki wearing ass nigga. Come on. With spray paint stains in my shit. Double creases on the motherfucker. The little cuff on the bottom. Keep taking the cuff out. Make the pants a little longer. I was that nigga. I mean, I ain't the nigga gonna sit up in there and say I was back in the days. I was hot. Feet lied off the big link and all that shit. Why, nigga? Because I'm content with who I am. You got to be content with who you are. And a lot of these niggas that's lying, they ain't content with who they are. That's why they lying. They live in this fictitious ass world and shit, trying to be something they ain't. So you could be in prison, you can just go ahead and fabricate your whole fucking persona, your whole motherfucking bio. You done fabricated everything, nigga. You just this big ass killer. But the niggas do the same. They come out on the streets and sit up and talk about what they did in prison. You was this big ass hard nigga on the yard and all that shit. Knowing damn well you was S N Y or some shit. Knowing damn well you was super nice. You never been involved in nothing. Never seen ad sig. Never never been involved in nothing. Just stayed the fuck out the way. So it's the liars. This is a society is filled with fucking liars. People lie, man. Lies, 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 lies. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, top of the morning. Thank all y'all for tuning in. Shout out to everybody who's been following me, who's been, who's continuing with me, even though I ain't dropped nothing lately. Thank y'all all. Hey, look, life happens. We got a lot of shit on our plate. It's, this is this is the real world. Nigga, nigga's doing a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Nigga got issues, shit, family shit. Niggas be dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Nigga be wanting to come and jump back on here and do some shit. But, hey, man. I'm here today, though. Y'all drive safe, man, wherever y'all at, where y'all from, man. Stay focused. Man, just stay focused. Peace.